10-Minute Car Sales Talk Podcast, where it's all about life in the car business. Telling you like it is, here's the man with the plan, Terry Cameron. Welcome back to another Buzzer Beater Friday. I believe this is episode number 13 or 14 on our uh, Buzzer Beater series. And we're somewhere around the 21, 22 in our 10-Minute Car Sales Talk Podcast that comes out each Monday. So please, if you haven't listened to them all, go back and start at the beginning and, and work your way through. Hopefully you'll notice they get a little bit better as, as you move on. For this weekend, I want you to think about the customer that you're going to get that we just can't close because the payments are too high. And when I say too high, I mean 40 or $50 too high, not $150, $200 too high, but 40 or 50 There's a reason why a customer should purchase the car that is 40 or $50 too high. And that's because it's the one they want. I recently ran into a customer in our service drive that bought a car from us about three or four months ago, uh, and he didn't have a real good, uh, happy look on his face. And I asked him why, and he said, I'm just not satisfied with my car. Now, he said it has nothing to do with the quality of the car. It has nothing to do with uh, our dealership or the brand at all. He's just upset that he did not get the car that he wanted. Now, I remember this very, very clearly because I had to T.O. this, this young man, and he, and he was a tough sale. And the payments that, uh, uh, for the car that he wanted with the sunroof and the navigation and the leather were about $45 more a month than, than he wanted to pay. He was strict to his budget, and, and I can respect that. But now, he says, he wishes he would have spent the extra $45 a month. He told me that, you know, just the night before, he threw a $100 bill down for a normal night out with his wife having dinner. Half of that would have taken care of that difference in the payment. You know, and it makes sense. When your customers tell you that the payment's too high, you have to tell them, that's why you should purchase it, Mr. and Mrs. Customer. Because if you don't, three, four, five, six months down the road, you're going to wish that you did. You're not going to be in the car that you want. You're already going to be conditioned making the payments that you're making. And an additional $45 a month is just like not going out to eat once a month. It would take care of all of that. And besides, it'll save you money in the long run. Because if you like the car, the more you like the car, the longer you're going to keep it. Which means when it is time to trade it in, chances of you being in an equity position are much higher at that time. If you don't like it, and we see this all the time, Four or five months down the road, the customer is back trying to trade that car in and most likely a little, if not a lot, upside down on that trade. So if they are going to trade it, instead of the payments being $45 higher when if they would have purchased the car the first time, now they're $85, $90 higher and way out of their budget. So it makes sense to spend a little bit more money to keep the, to get the car that you want, the one with the sunroof, nav, and leather, that you're going to keep longer you're going to enjoy it longer, and when it's time to trade, you have equity. So remember, customer says payments are too high. You explain to them why that means they should purchase it. Tell them this story and see if it'll help you out a little bit. So, like always, remember, the sky's the limit. I'll see you next week.